I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh. And I'll like talk at it. Like, okay, like it's cornered me. I have a whole, a whole thing where I'm like, okay, you're here to kill me. What's the deal with celery? You know, everyone like can't stand celery. It, it tastes what? like eating a gross plant. I mean, and cool is relative, but I don't think that anything that cool went down uh, at my at my middle school. A legend. But fan. also, I was one of those kids that if something cool did go down, I might not have known about it because I was like very studious and like teacher's pet and like focused and like trying not to like I don't know get in trouble and all of those things. And so, if there was any any trouble that had happened <laughs> that was like legendary, I don't know that I about it i'm trying to think of legendary trouble you know what was weird about my school is that uh i went to school in plano texas and it's a very um competitive school district and so some of the parents would hold their kids back two years so they would be bigger for the football team and i remember no. my dad dropping us off at school once he's like oh is that one of your teachers and i'm like no that's mark so-and-so he's like he's got a full beard <laughs> and like so that was, I guess, just walking amongst legends in your school was kind of wild. But I promise it, it's absolutely Dee Dee. The character I play is very much who I, who I can relate to the most. Um, because, I mean, Dee Dee has this just uh, abundant passion and, and love for um, theater and performing arts. And that was, I've always known that I was going to be an artist. I always know, I've always known I was going to be an actor. Um, and so Dee Dee in that sense, and then also Dee Dee likes to, you know, she doesn't like to deviate from the rules too much. Um, she doesn't like to break them, um, if she can help it. And, um, she, I th she takes school seriously. You know, she very similar to the Francis character. Um, so if, if there was someone that I would say that's not my own character, I would say Francis is the, the next closest, but yeah, you know, studious and loves her friends and loves theater. I, I, I'm Dee Dee all the way. I'm 100% Teddy Ortiz. I, I <laughs> like, I mean, he's mischievous. Uh, he says things in, before he thinks about it. Uh, he's always down to be like, yeah, like yes and, and go along with things. Um, you know, he uh, he's actually like, I, I feel like decent at school, but he would rather just be hanging out with his friends and having fun. And that stuff's kind of like easy for him. Um, and, and like, you know, and he's overall, I think just like a nice down to earth guy. Um, also it's so amazing on the show, getting to play a Hispanic character. Cause, uh, usually on camera, my, my skin's so light. Um, but like I, as a kid, I always would tell my friends like, yeah, I'm Hispanic. They're like, no, you're not. And I'm like, I eat menudo like every Sunday. <laughs> right off the bat spiders can't do it. Can't do them. Can't no, doesn't matter the size really. Um, I, I've, you know, <laughs> before the pandemic, um, I lived alone. Now I live with my family and everything, but, um, before I lived by myself and I had to conquer somewhat of, of my fear with spiders, but they still paralyze me. Like I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh. And I'll like talk at it. Like, okay. Like it's cornered me. I have a whole, a whole thing where I'm like, okay, you're here to kill me. Like it's, I have a very serious fear of spiders. And then, you know, I'll, I'll do like long distance, um, removal of spiders. If I can figure out whatever way that, you know, it's just the least contact. So spiders for me are traumatizing and <laughs> awful. <laughs> and give me heart palpitations. The only creature that really makes me uncomfortable is cockroaches for some reason. When I see them, I'm just, there's something about them. Um, but as far as like something I relate to that I think my, my character Teddy would fear as well is the fear of missing out of FOMO. Of wow. like, yeah, of just being like, oh man, like what if like, what's everyone doing like with this and that? I feel like that's one, I feel like that's one that a lot of people probably can relate to, um, especially as a kid where you're like, my friends are gonna do this. And like, are they not gonna even remember me anymore after they go away for the weekend? I'm allergic to shellfish. And because of that, I don't like any seafood. Um, mm -hmm. I can probably eat fish, but it, when, I, when I see it, when I smell it, I'm just like, <laughs> Nope. So that's mine. Can't do it. No seafood for me. What's the deal with celery? You know, everyone like can't stand celery. It, it tastes what? like eating a gross plant, like not even a good, like not a good plant. People are like, well, what about ants on a log? And mm -hmm. everyone's like, well, what about that? I'm like, yeah, it tastes like delicious peanut butter and raisins on gross celery. 
Like that's, so celery is my answer. I can't answer the one for the should pull. I think Arnie will probably come up with the better one for that. But uh, there's one, on, um, I mean, I'm not a huge prankster myself. And some of the pranks that Nate pulls, I'm just like, what, how? Oh my gosh, that's that's so wild and crazy. But I love the ones that he pulls with his friends, like when all the friends are in on it. And it's like, to, he, he like pranks one of his adversaries on the show, one of his one of his arch, you know, enemies at the, um, at the school. And um, when he pranks them, there's one where, um, can't give too much away, I guess, but it's a classic. Like there's, there's something stuffed in a locker and all the friends are like, oh man, I can't get this locker open. And then it opens. And then the, the bully comes by and it's like, oh, you guys, whatever, it's so easy. And then opens it. And it's like, Hey, see, we got you. We, uh, we pranked you. So I like the ones where like the friends are involved and help Nate, you know, take out some bully who, you know, just needed to be knocked down a peg. <laughs> and needed some humility thrown back in their face. As far as pranks, I've always loved pranks. And- uh, I know you one, I know, one growing up that was so awful is I love the one where you took like binoculars and you put like permanent marker in it. And then you're like, hey, you're like, hey, take a look. And someone looks through and then they don't know that they have like permanent marker on their eyes the whole time. Um, as far as seeing Nate do a prank, I wanna see Nate go so deep on a prank that he doesn't even know that he's pranking if he's in on the prank or if it is a prank anymore or even what's going on, it's that deep of a prank. To get really just locked in. Yeah, locked in. Maybe where where he almost loses on. himself. In yeah, the yeah, loses himself prank. or like 35 years later and it's like the prank finally pulled off. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm looking for longevity. You're like a minor celebrity. <laughs> I know. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out more cool videos, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. K-Zone you later!